Hi there and welcome to Nostalgia Hit. In today's video, we look back at the cast of Scarface, considered to be one of the greatest gangster films ever made, as well as one of the greatest remakes. Released on December 9, 1983, we'll revisit the stars of the film and update them as of 2021. So, grab your Scarface then and now ticket. And please remember to hit the notification bell and like and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the video. Al Israel played Hector the Toad, the chainsaw-wielding Colombian drug dealer. Tony Montana agrees to carry out a job for Frank Lopez's henchman Omar Suarez to buy cocaine from Hector at the Sun Ray Hotel on Miami Beach. It's safe to say, it doesn't take long for all hell to break loose. A decade later, Israel once again appeared alongside Pacino in Carlito's Way. Israel was born on April 16, 1935 in Manhattan, New York. He sadly died on March 16, 2011, age 75. Stephen Bauer played Manny Rivera, also known as Manny Ray. He was Tony's friend and right-hand man. He ends up in a relationship with Tony's sister Gina, which has disastrous consequences. Bauer was given the role of Manny, even though he was a relatively unknown actor at the time. The producers of Scarface were convinced that he was right for the role based on his strong audition, as well as his authentic Cuban background. His performance drew a Golden Globe nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Bauer was born on December 2, 1956 in Havana, Cuba and is now 64 years old. Robert Loggia plays Frank Lopez, an aging Miami drug lord who mentors Tony and Manny. At first, Lopez is fond of both men, but later it all turns sour, and he tries to have Tony assassinated. The assassination attempt is unsuccessful, and Tony and Manny take revenge. Loggia's career spanned over 60 years. He was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for Jagged Edge in 1985 and won the Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actor for the 1988 film, Big. He was also recognized numerous times for his humanitarian efforts. Loggia was born on January 3, 1930, in Staten Island, New York. He sadly died on December 4, 2015, aged 85. F. Murray Abraham played Omar Suarez, Frank Lopez's right-hand man, who is highly skeptical of Tony Montana. Tony accompanies Omar to Bolivia, on behalf of Lopez to strike a deal with drug kingpin Alejandro Sosa. But during the meeting Omar is suspected of conspiring with law enforcement. After being recognized by Alberto the Shadow, Tony witnesses a beaten Omar hanged from a helicopter. Abraham is a multi-award winning actor. He gained recognition during the 1980s after winning an Oscar for his leading role as Antonio Salari in the 1984 drama film Amadeus. Abraham also won a Golden Globe and received a BAFTA Award nomination for the role. He was born on October 24, 1939, in Pittsburgh, and is now 81 years old. Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio played Gina, Tony's sister, of whom he is overprotective. Gina tries to stay straight and level-headed, working hard to take care of her mother. She ends up in a relationship with Tony's best friend Manny. And let's just say, that doesn't end well. Master Antonio made her Broadway debut in the 1980 revival of West Side Story, and in 2003 was nominated for the Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical for the Broadway revival of Man of La Mancha. She was also nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role as Carmen in the 1986 film The Color of Money. She has also had film roles in The Abyss, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and The Perfect Storm. Master Antonio was born on November 17, 1958, in Lombard, Illinois and is now 62 years old. Paul Shenar played Alejandro Sosa, a Bolivian drug lord. Sosa is arguably one of the most, if not the most, powerful cocaine kingpin in South America. He serves as Tony's chief nemesis and the main villain of the film. Shenar was a founding member, actor, director and teacher of the American Conservatory Theater in San Francisco. He played more than 40 roles there, including Hamlet, Oedipus Rex, and Brother Julian in Tiny Alice. He was born on February 12, 1936, in Milwaukee. He sadly died on October 11, 1989, aged 53. Harris Eulin plays Mel Bernstein, a crooked police officer on Lopez's payroll, who attempts to extort Tony at the Babylon Club. Bernstein knows that Tony murdered Emilio Rabenga, and presumably Hector the Toad, as he mentions that Tony is responsible for that bloodbath at the Sunray Hotel. 
Yulin has appeared in over a hundred film and television roles during the last five decades, starring in How the West Was Won, Ghostbusters 2, Clear and Present Danger, Training Day, 24, and Ozark, just to name a few. On stage, he made his New York debut in 1963, in Next Time I'll Sing to You by James Saunders, and continued to work frequently in theater throughout his career. He was born on November 5, 1937, in Los Angeles, and is now 83 years old. Angel Salazar played Chi Chi, one of Tony's most trusted friends and henchmen. He remains a faithful friend to Tony, as Tony rises to the top of Miami's drug empire. Chi Chi is the last of Tony's associates to die. He witnesses Chi Chi's death at the hands of Sosa's hit squad on his security monitor. Salazar co-starred with Pacino again a decade later, in the 1993 crime film, Carlito's Way. As well as an actor, he is also a comedian. Salazar has also appeared on Last Comic Standing in many HBO comedy specials. He was born on March 2, 1956, and is now 65 years old. Arnaldo Santana played Ernie, a bodyguard to Frank Lopez. But after Tony, Manny, and Chi Chi kill Frank and Mel Bernstein, Tony offers him a similar job in his newly established Montana cartel. Santana was a personal friend of Pacino prior to his role in Scarface. He achieved notice, playing doomed actor Lauren Lucas. In the controversial 1980 Pacino film Cruise, Santana was born on September 1, 1950 in El Paso. He sadly died on October 8, 1987, age 37. Pepe Serna played Angel Fernandez, one of Tony's closest friends. Angel accompanies Tony to a drug deal with Colombians at the Sunray Hotel. During the unsuccessful deal, Angel is dismembered with a chainsaw in one of the film's most famous scenes, due to Tony's failure to cooperate with the cartel. Over the years Serna has appeared in over 100 films and has also appeared on stage. Serna was honored with the Screen Actors Guild Heritage Achievement Award, the League of United Latin American Citizens, and the Estrella Award for Arts and Culture. He was born on July 23, 1944, in Corpus Christi, Texas, and is now 77 years old. Miriam Colon played Georgina Montana, also known as Mama Montana, Tony's disapproving mother. She detests Tony's criminal career, saying animals like him give the Cuban people a bad name. She also sees Tony as a bad influence on his sister Gina. Colon was the founder and director of the Puerto Rican Traveling Theater in New York City, beginning her career in the early 1950s. In 2014, Colon received the National Medal of Arts from President Barack Obama. She was born on August 20, 1936, in Ponce, Puerto Rico. She sadly died on March 3, 2017, aged 80. Michael P. Morin played Nick the Pig, a loyal servant to Tony. He is nicknamed the Pig by Tony because of his obesity, despite the fact that Montana does not treat him well. By openly and repeatedly insulting him, Nick the Pig stays fiercely loyal to Tony right until the end. As well as a television and film actor, Morin's first love was theater. He was also a playwright and wrote plays for the Manhattan Project and the Cooper Keaton Group, including Call Me Charlie, which starred Danny DeVito. He was born on February 8, 1944, in Yuba City, California. He sadly died on February 4, 2004, age 59. Dennis Hollihan played Jerry the Banker, a corrupt banker who helps Tony's organization launder their dirty money. Jerry starts off more than willing to help Tony, until law enforcement and the federal government decide to crack down on the illegal drug trade. Hollihan is a real-life attorney, from 1976 to 1992. He took a hiatus from his law practice to pursue a successful career as an actor in film and television, as well as Scarface. Other notable film roles include parts in The Vegas Strip War, Collision Course, Cuffs, Haywire and Aspen Extreme. He also made television appearances in MASH, Hill Street Blues, Lou Grant, and The Rockford Files. In 1992 Hollihan returned to the legal career he had put on hold. He was born on November 7, 1942, in Stamford, Connecticut, and is now 78 years old. Mark Margulies played Alberto the Shadow, Alejandro Sosa's personal bodyguard, and one of his professional assassins. A ruthless killer with no moral compass, Tony kills Alberto before a bomb can be detonated which would have also killed the wife and children of their intended target. Margulies has appeared in numerous films and TV shows, such as Ace Ventura Pet Detective, Requiem for a Dream, The Wrestler, Black Swan, and Noah, to name a few. He is probably best known for his role as Hector Tio Salamanca in the TV show Breaking Bad. 
Margulies was born on November 26, 1939, in Philadelphia, and is now 81 years old. Michael Aldredge plays George Sheffield, Tony Montana's corrupt lawyer. In the movie, he's depicted as the greatest lawyer in Miami. Aldredge guest starred in many television programs, including ER, The Bob Newhart Show, Quantum Leap, One Day at a Time, and All in the Family. He also appeared on two segments of the 1985 television series The Twilight Zone. He was born on April 13, 1941, in Bakersfield, California. He sadly died on December 19, 1997, aged 56. Ted Benades plays Ted Sadelbaum, an undercover police officer who works for Miami law enforcement. He presents himself as a money launderer, and Tony gives him $1.3 million in cash to convert into cashier's checks. Unknown to Tony, a wall clock had been fitted with a hidden camera, which recorded Tony's actions. Benades appeared in numerous films, such as The Odd Couple, Serpico and The Next Man, and in television shows, such as Dark Shadows and YPD. The Jackie Gleason Show and The Equalizer, he was born on November 17, 1922, in New York City. He sadly died on October 24, 2014, aged 91. Gino Silva plays the Skull. The Bolivian is Alejandro Sosa's professional henchman and chief assassin. The Skull murders Tony by shooting him in the spine with a single shot from his 12-gauge Zabala shotgun. Silva also appeared in films such as 1941. Tequila Sunrise, The Lost World Jurassic Park, Amistad, Mulholland Drive and A Man Apart. He was born on January 20, 1948, in Albuquerque. He sadly died on May 9, 2020, age 72. Michelle Pfeiffer plays Elvira Hancock, formerly Frank Lopez's girlfriend. She is wooed by Tony and eventually becomes his wife. Tony nicknames her Elvie. Soon though, their marriage starts to break down with Tony complaining that all she does is inhale cocaine and qualities, and Elvira saying all Tony does is focus on the business. She eventually leaves Tony after a fight at a restaurant towards the end of the film. Pfeiffer was one of the most prolific actresses of the 1980s and 90s. In 1999, she moved into semi-retirement in order to spend more quality time with her family. She has won countless accolades throughout her acting career, including a Golden Globe Award and a British Academy Film Award. In addition to nominations for three Academy Awards and one Primetime Emmy Award, she is also a philanthropist. Pfeiffer was born on April 29, 1958, in Santa Ana, California, and is now 63 years old. Al Pacino plays Tony Montana, the main character in Scarface, a Cuban refugee who becomes a wealthy drug lord in Miami. Tony Montana has become a cultural icon and is one of the most famous movie characters of all time, embodying the rise from the bottom to the top. Director Oliver Stone came up with the name by combining the last name of his then-favorite football player Joe Montana and the first name from the main character of the 1932 film version, Tony Camonti, played by Paul Muni. Pacino's career has spanned over five decades, receiving many awards and nominations along the way, including an Academy Award, two Tony Awards, and two Primetime Emmy Awards. He is one of the few performers to have received the Triple Crown of Acting. He has also been honored with the IFI Life Achievement Award, the Cecil B. DeMille Award, and the National Medal of Arts. Pacino was born on April 25, 1940, in New York City, and is now 81 years old. Thanks for watching Nostalgia Hit. Please remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, as it really helps the channel. Why not watch another video listed on the screen now? Until next time.